Well, it is a KIMT News 3 exclusive. A Hayfield mom catches coronavirus and overcomes it while locked away in a bedroom. George spoke with her and has her remarkable story tonight. George. And Katie, it was really neat to meet her. It's a fascinating story for a number of reasons. First of all, this young mom has no earthly idea where she was exposed to the virus. What's more, she seems to have overcome it with something akin to an awesome immune system. When Katie Boyd woke up in her Hayfield home on March 23rd, she knew something wasn't right. Um, I had like a lot of congestion, kind of some tightness in my lungs, and uh, shortness of breath, and just very, very tired. This young mom is an administrative assistant at Mayo. Working in the company of top medical professionals likely gave her more than a passing knowledge of the novel coronavirus. I had fit the symptoms, so um, that is when I went and got tested. And um, two days later, that's when I was confirmed positive with the, with the COVID. Her mom instincts kicked into gear. Her immediate concern was for her husband, Jesse, and four-year-old son, Thomas. Didn't want to get them sick or anything, so... <clears throat> and loved, very thankfully, they, they didn't. Uh, her symptoms to me just seemed like, a, you know, just a common cold, really. Um, but then, obviously, once uh, she got the positive test results back, then... Then a level of concern was a little bit higher. Still, even before the diagnosis, Katie, ever the concerned mom, had isolated herself in a remote bedroom. I, I literally just lived in my bedroom for <laughs> for almost two weeks. And precisely a week into her self-imposed isolation, Katie Boyd was back. I got my symptoms on Monday, and I probably started feeling better that following Monday. Yeah, she felt better, but remained isolated for a full two weeks, which brings us to that super immune system of Katie's. She donated plasma on Friday to be used in Mayo Clinic's so-called convalescent plasma program. You see, researchers are testing the use of plasma donated by people like Katie who've overcome COVID-19 and have antibodies to the virus as a treatment for people who are gravely ill. I talked to Katie about that, too, and that is something, Katie, that she is really proud of. Absolutely. Thanks, George. You can catch that part of the story tomorrow night on KIMT News 3 at 10. Well, any 